Lawrence from downtown Scranton, this is Northeast Current. WQPX invites you to join us as we explore public affairs, current events, and arts and culture in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Now let's meet today's guests on Northeast Current. Welcome to Northeast Current. I'm your host today, Bernie Mayapolsky, and today we're on site at the Commonwealth Medical College with Caroline, Caitlin, and Abby, for, who are students here, second year students, right? Yes. And we're going to talk about their fundraiser, the sixth annual Turkey Trot. Welcome to Northeast Current. Oh, thanks for Thank having you. us. Can you tell us a little bit about the event? Sure, it's a 5K, 10K race, and we're also implementing a fun run this year for non-competitive runners or walkers, and basically all proceeds from this race are going to go to a local organization called Friends of the Poor, which provide turkey dinners to local families on Thanksgiving Day. Okay, so, and when is the race? The race, I could see right on your shirts. It's 11, 15, 15, it's the sixth annual, and um, so, um, so it's a 5K run and a 10K run, and you also said there's a fun run. What's, what's the story with the fun run? So the story with the fun run is that we think that we could bring in a lot more runners this year because we know that a lot of families like to walk together, and it would be a really nice way to, I don't know, have a different community. Um, okay. I also, I also think not everyone enjoys running, per se. Yeah, <laughs> I don't run unless maybe somebody's chasing me. But it is a great cause, so we were hoping to kind of pull in more people that wanted to be involved and and really help out the, the cause of Friends of the Poor, but not necessarily run or be intimidated okay. by those that run daily. So how does it work? So I could register for the 5K, mm -hmm. I could register for the 10K, mm -hmm. and that's if I'm a runner. Mm -hmm. yep. And then what's the fun run? Is it a walk, run? How far is that? It's, it's a, also a 5K. So oh, you can, okay. I, if you're kind of doing a couch to 5K thing and trying to get into shape or um, just not much of a runner and want to walk the whole thing, we're just okay. promoting anyone that wants to bring their families anything like that. So it's not competitive. The, the, no. So is it the same time as the 5K? Did they start at the same time? We will start a half an hour later. Oh, okay, I we see. Will. We'll let all the runners do their thing and then the walkers will go right behind them and they can enjoy the weather. We're just trying to make it a big community right. event. And where, where does the, where is the races, where do they start? It starts right outside. Oh, right here, <laughs> right here at the, at the com Okay, so it starts and ends here, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's great. And then so um, how many runners do you usually get? Are you expecting, I should say? Last year we had 180 runners, but okay. we were hoping to beat that this year. How's it going so far? We have our registrations. We're getting um, there. Yeah. <laughs> That's we, good. We day by some, day. Some pretty good uh, numbers so far. I think that not many people think that far ahead. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Especially in this area. We like to just future. wait till the day of. <laughs> we're hoping for more of a push. Like. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that is how it goes here. And so, um, and so tell us a little more about it's the um, Friends of the Poor, right? And so they have a, you said they have a Thanksgiving dinner. Obviously it's on Thanksgiving. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so you're helping too. You have a food drive as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a, and it's a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Sister Ann, who we work very closely with, she gets all the turkeys donated. So we do get a lot of food okay. donated, which is great, but mm -hmm. they still need money still need to money buy a lot of that. Um, so that's why we're, we're donating both canned uh, goods and the money. Donated. So what other kind of things are happening that day? So we'll also be having a tiny trot, which is just a tiny the block. trot. Yes. Okay. It's for it's for younger kids okay. and basically just gives them a chance to participate in the community event and get involved and bring in more families. Okay. Um, we will be having someone running in the turkey costume. I was wondering what that was yeah. back there. There was the turkey costume. Yeah, they wouldn't let me put it on actually. No. <laughs> You'd look Maybe good later. It, Thank you. They, <laughs> I, I'm kind of a turkey, I guess. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so you guys are students here, right? Tell us about where, so you're, where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, PA, so a couple, a couple hours south of here. All right, and this yeah. is your um, second year here? This is my second year here, I love it. You love it here, you I like it in Scranton, it. so you're giving back to the community here? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Scranton is nice because it's a close-knit city mm -hmm. and you get to know the area really well. And I know a lot of, we got involved with Turkey Trot last year and we really felt that it was a big community event. It yeah. brought in a lot of people. Um, there was a lot of support last year, and I don't know, it's, it's really inspiring. Okay. And you're from Wisconsin, you told me before. I am. It's That's a little more than a couple hours. <laughs> yes. So how do you like it here? I like it a lot. Um, I, really, I really love being at TCMC. Uh, like Caroline said, it's, it's such a great community here, and I think that the reason that we're all involved in Turkey Trot is because of how much we want to give back to the community. They do so much for us, allowing us to be in their community and serve them. So this is a really great mm -hmm. opportunity to just reverse that. And you are from Danville, I am. which is in our viewing area, I believe. I, uh, yeah, so. 
That's great. But I mean, I don't think a lot, a lot of people realize what a magnificent campus this is here. And that, you know, we're training the next doctors. I mean, it's really a pretty amazing when you think about it. That's right here in Scranton. We have this, you know, this, um, this great facility and, you know, these great students that are they're helping out so much. So you're raising money. You're also raising awareness. You're doing a food drive. So the people in our area are very generous, right? Oh, they so have how been. can they get involved? How can we, like, how can we, you know, get in on the race? How can we donate? That kind of thing. You can come to the race, just come to the event. We're also going to be having a lot of raffles that day okay. during the, after the race. Um, we're going to be giving away gift baskets. We have a gift card guarantee for a certain donation. Maybe and we'll, 50 50 as well. A 50 50 mm -hmm. as well. And we'll also be having an event at Ale Mary's after okay. the race. Um, so everyone's going to go celebrate what we've been doing and we'll continue celebrating at Ale Mary's. So it starts here and finishes here. Mm -hmm. Starts here, finishes right? here. And is there a website that our viewers could go to? Yes. Yeah. There is it's so. tcmc.edu slash turkey trot okay. and you can also just go into any internet search and type tcmc and turkey trot and <laughs> it'll pop right up at the top. Perfect. <laughs> so if you're looking to get involved you can sign up for any of the races on that site right there. Okay. Um, and you can also just give a donation so if you're not necessarily going to be in the area that okay. day like I know my parents aren't running but they're donating so okay. you can give a donation right on that site as well which is really great. What time does it start? What time do the events start? Uh, registration day of starts at 8 a.m. and okay. then the race itself starts at 9 a.m. So for anyone that can't can't register online or decides to do the run last minute, you can definitely just show up here the day of and um, register right there. And are you guys running? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll be running the Tiny Trot in the turkey All right. costume All right. at 30. All right. Oh yeah, the Tiny Trot's at 8:30. Starts a half an hour before. Um, however, we'll be pretty busy <laughs> trying to get the right. event together that day. I would imagine. Yeah. Right. Um, but a lot of our classmates are running, yeah. and a TCMC will be very involved that day. And, this, and the teachers, are the teachers running too? Mm -hmm. Yes, we they are. Professors. Professors, That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Very nice. very I imagine there's a lot of healthy people here at the medical college. <laughs> so how much does it cost to participate in the race? What's the, you know, how much money are we raising, that kind of thing? If I want to get involved or one of the, um, you know, people, our viewers want to participate, what do we do? So the 10K will be $45. The 5K will be 35, and the family fun run will be about $25 day of. Okay, and there's a special, there's another race the day before, right, you were telling me about? So the day before, there's another race for a cause kind of similar to ours. It's uh, for the race, it's called the Race Against Hunger. So what we're doing is we're working with the people organizing that race and saying if you uh, don't, if you show up the day of our race, the day after the, the Race Against Hunger with your runner bib from the day before, you'll get a discounted price of $20 for um, any of the runs, which is really nice. Benefit people who are exercising. Who are running 10Ks <laughs> like day after day. <laughs> And you can also do that beforehand online. There's a, you can also sign up for the R race after Race Against Hunger. You can just check that little box and you'll get that discount. As long as you just have the bib. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all you have to have is your bib. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, so when you sign up, uh, you get a shirt, which is really great. And then for the event afterwards at Ale Mary's, you'll also, everyone that is a runner will get a coupon and there's um, uh, discounted drinks and appetizers there after the run for all the runners and their family members that choose to join them that day. So it's kind of nice that we're rewarding the runners uh, for working so mm -hmm. hard and donating their time and money. Mm -hmm. There will also be other things in the, in the bag that r runners receive, like for example, um, right now we have Electric City Yoga has donated um, free yoga passes for a day. Oh, nice. So there will be other types of goods like that that will oh, right. benefit the runners. So probably what you donate, you probably get back in kind and from the other exactly. you know, generous That's sponsors of the, of the tournament, of the race, I should say. Well, I, I mean, I, that's, I think it sounds great. You know, could you give us that website again? It is tcmc.edu slash turkey trot. Slash turkey trot. Okay. <laughs> so if anybody wants to get involved and you want to run a little turkey trot on the 15th, coming right up soon, um, go to the website and register. And if, you, you know, if you're a last-minute person like a lot of us here, show up the day of and they'll have you in one of those runs. You could participate with the baskets. You could get involved in the raffle. You could do a fun run. There's a lot of stuff going on. You could see a turkey running around. I will be the turkey running around. Good. So that sounds like it'll be pretty good. I'd like to thank you girls for joining us today oh, on Northeast Current. Some not not very long from now, we'll, there'll be three doctors. They'll be right here, and I'll be Eventually. we'll be able to say I knew them when. And um, it's really great that they're helping so much in the community here. So from the Co Commonwealth Medical College, we will be right back after these messages with more Northeast Current. Thank you. Welcome back to Northeast Current. Today we are with 
Tara guide us. And you know, there are so many different choices in the food space today, and the labels could be so complicated, and we wonder if we pay more, does that mean it's better? Does that mean it's safer? Maybe yes, maybe no. So today, Tara is going to help us answer some of these questions. Hello, Tara. Thanks for joining us today. With so many trends in the food space today, I mean, which ingredients should we be paying attention to and which ones should we avoid? We hear so much and our viewers get confused. Well, you know, consumers are getting more and more savvy, which is absolutely wonderful, and they're starting to pay attention to what's added to food. So the, the FDA has actually said no more partially hydrogenated oils as of 2018. So they're banning it. They're saying no one can have this in their food. So I'm here to tell you that Aldi Food Markets is taking this a step further. They're saying not only are we removing partially hydrogenated oils but we're also removing synthetic colors we're also removing added MSG and we're not waiting we're doing it right now so by the end of 2015 all of those things will be gone from their exclusive brands which makes up about 90 percent of the food products on shelves at Aldi so yes of course today we're all concerned about eating clean but the labels they could be so confusing so can you help us you know, navigate this? Sure, yeah, you almost have to have a PhD to read a label these days. So what I recommend is just look at the front of the pack. If it confuses you to turn it over, just look at the front because more and more we're seeing things that we care about like the calories, the fat, the saturated fat, the fiber. All of those things are showing up right on the front of the pack so you can just glance at it and say, oh, that's too much or, you know, oh, the, I, you know, that's something I'm looking for. You can also look for seals like the certified organic, the non-GMO, the gluten-free. You can look for these things right on the front of the pack which saves you time when you're at the grocery store. Can you tell us some other initiatives to make um, healthy products more accessible to our viewers and other consumers? Sure, absolutely. So I have four boys, um, so you can imagine what my grocery bill looks like. So when we're talking about cost savings, they actually did research to see, all right, if you had the national brand and you bought the Aldi exclusive brand instead, Believe it or not, people can save up to 50%. And when we're talking about some of the things that we were just mentioning, the organics, the gluten-free, all of those things, people think, oh, I have to go to that specialty store, or, oh, it has to be so expensive. Not so much. If you can shop smart, and for example, Aldi has organic produce, they have meats, they have dairy, they have all kinds of things, and if you switch to that, you know, the Aldi brand, you're looking at savings in your pocketbook. So just being a little bit more savvy about where you're shopping and what you're shopping for can make a huge difference. And Tara, where can our viewers find more information? Because I know they're going to be interested. Yeah, well, if you've ever wanted to have a dietitian with you at the grocery store, you can go to aldi.us, and there's a section there called Dietitian's Picks. So myself and other registered dietitians have said, this is what you should get at the grocery store. So you can go there. And then if you love Facebook, you can go to Aldi USA and like their Facebook page, and there's awesome information there as well. What is the biggest mistake you see people making when they make food choices? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know that it's one food that we need to remove. I think it's portion size. So I always tell people, I'm not a food cop. I'm not going to take away your french fries, your chocolate, your wine, whatever it is that's near and dear to your heart. But if you can just have less of it or maybe change the frequency. So maybe instead of every night having two glasses of wine, you cut it back, you change it, you say, all right, I'm going to do three days a week or two days a week or whatever it is because I love food. And I know you love food. And so I don't want to say cut that out, but let's be smart about how often we're doing it. And then that can really make us feel good about having the things we like, but that moderation thing. Anything else to add for our viewers? Um, no, I mean, just, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that people are so savvy these days about looking for things. And I'm glad that food manufacturers are responding and, and giving us the kinds of things that we're asking for, whether it's organic or gluten-free or non-GMO or whatever it is. Just look at labels, start to see um, where you can make a difference in your pocketbook as well. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, Tara. And we'll be right back with more Northeast Current after a break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Northeast Current. I'm your host, Bernie Mayapolsky, and did you know that October is National Immunity Month? We're here today with Tracy Anderson, the founder of the Tracy Anderson System, and she is a fitness and nutrition expert, and she is going to tell us ways to boost our immunity, our immune system, and have a killer workout. And you know, she has major A-list celebrities that follow her program like Gwyneth Paltrow, 
Jennifer Lopez, Robert Downey Jr., Madonna, Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Can you tell our viewers how important it is to exercise regularly? Yes, it is incredibly vital to exercise regularly. I really can't stress it enough. We live in a very uh, high-pressured, very busy, fast-moving moving world, and, and it's all the more reason that we need to stay very, very connected to ourselves. And, you know, by nature, we're meant to move, we're meant to exercise and, 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 and take care of ourselves in that way. We're meant to rest, we're meant to fuel. Our bodies like consistency, and they like to be taken care of. So not only is it the best for anti-aging, but it's also the best for you to to prevent disease and to also really be your most connected, balanced self. Oh, that's great. And you know, of course, exercise could really wipe us out. Can you give us some ways that we could re-energize? Yes, I understand the lengths that people go to to get in their exercise routines. And I have many clients that are up at 5 in the morning to get their exercise in. And I'm actually teaming up with Zycam Total Immune to uh, make October National Immunity Month. And our immune systems are one of the ways that we can really um, give some support to to keep that energy up. And they've come out with a few products that I really love that, that, that help with that. So Zycam Total Immune Performance Support is just a little orange melt that's really amazing and easy on the go that you can just pop in your mouth that's formulated with B vitamins that help convert food into fuel. And then our digestive health really plays uh, a significant role in, in our energy and our, and our performance as well. So they also have come out with a product called Zycam Immune Digestive Health. And that is a little uh, crystal packet that you can just pop into your mouth or into your flavored wa water to make it flavored rather. And, and that's, a, that's a really great way to just to infuse some support throughout the day um, to make sure that you can get your exercise routine in without uh, compromising your energy. You actually have more energy from from the exercise routine too. Awesome. We'll keep our eye out for those supplements. Do you have any other special tips we should be doing while we're exercising? When you're exercising, it's really important that even if you haven't been exercising regularly or that you haven't realized how much you really need to exercise, that, that you are patient with yourself and that you really build yourself up to a regular exercise routine that will, will support you long term. Every day that you're not exercising, you're either gaining weight or staying the same. So it is, it is incredibly vital even in, in weight management, which is directly, directly affects your, your overall health. So where can our viewers go for more information? You can go to ZycamImmune.com to find out more about the products, more about National Immunity a Month. You can follow me. I'm, I'm actually, I, I love Instagram. I'm on, I have a live streaming uh, product, and on my Instagram, Tracy Anderson Method, we have a whole, they call themselves the Tamily, which is a, a wonderful community of support, and I also have a website, TracyAnderson.com. So before we close, what's up with all the celebrity A-listers? Can you tell us what's the story with that? I do. I feel really blessed that my life's work has also been of service to people who are in the public eye a lot. And, and at this point in my career, I mean, man, I, I, I'm just honored at the, at the long list of celebrities that have, have done my method and that even say, tell their trainers, learn, learn this DVD or that DVD. So, so I've created the largest bank of fitness content ever created. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just really proud that it's being utilized by so many amazing people. Thank you, Tracy, for joining us today. And that's it for our show. Thank you for joining us today on Northeast Current. And we'll see you next week. Turkey truck, take 37. A lot of editing to do, sorry. Okay, so um, let me get started again. Oh, missed the ball. <laughs> yeah, missed the boat on that one. Did we also? Did we want? Are we, are we rolling? All oh, right. <laughs> it's all messed up today. I'm like freezing. Yeah. I'm getting a cold. I know. I'm like, I'm out of sorts. Yeah, sorry. I just got like, I'm using that so, yeah, right. With the things, everything. Do you want me to hold it up from behind it around? Sure, a lot of outtakes on that one. I can't wait for the bloopers. It's my favorite part. I'm like a new host now. A different guy today.